Before I start the video, I just want to talk about the current situation in the world. Um, I think, as we all know, the entire world is protesting against racism right now, against systematic racism, against police brutality. Um, and I think it's very important for us to also talk about it because things need to change and everybody needs to help in order for things to actually change because how it is going right now is not right um, black people face so much racism like on a daily basis but also institutional racism and things can't change unless we actually do something about it so i just really want to encourage you all to please educate yourself on the topic um sign petitions there are so many petitions online but i will leave a whole link with information in the description box down below also donate money if you can if you can't donate money there are so many videos online that you can watch where the adsense will be donated also talk to the white and non-black people in your environment talk about the topics talk about what you can do to change this because it's very important i don't want this to be like an instagram moment you know like in a week everybody's forgetting about it no this is a lifelong commitment we need to do our best in order to change things and in order to come up for black people because black lives matter. So again, go to the links in my description box down below and see how you can actually help. Thank you and let's now just continue on the video. Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. <laughs> yeah, I am sitting here once again without any brows on my face because I shaved them off. And I've actually been shaving them every single day because I like not having brows. <laughs> but I also really, really, really like drawing them back on my face. So today I'm going to show you how I go from no brows to brows. And it is a lot easier than you would think. So let's just jump right into it. Also, yeah, I am indeed wearing extensions and no, they do not match my actual hair color anymore so please ignore that right now okay <laughs> i have two different brow shapes and two different techniques that i use and i'm going to show you them both today so the first brow that i'm going to show you guys is this one right here i like this one because it makes you look kind of like sad but like cute sad you know and also very innocent so I love it. So let me get me products. So the first product that I use is the NYX Cosmetics 3-in-1 Brow Pencil in the color Soft Brown. You don't have to use this one. I just have this one, so I use this one. But you can use any brow pencil, basically. And I'm going to draw on my brows. So let me show you. Even though I shave my brows off, you can still see where they're like supposed to go. Like I think it's so weird, but you can literally see my brow shape on my forehead so i can kind of use that to see where the product needs to go taking my brow pencil and i'm starting from the inner corner of my brow and i'm literally placing it where the top of my brow actually was so my brow used to go over here and i'm gonna place it here you want to use a lighter color as pencil because you can always darken them up but you can't really make your brows lighter so use a light color so i've got my point over here and i'm literally just gonna make a line straight across and i'm gonna make it pretty straight but still a little bit upwards so not entirely straight but a little bit like slanted like this the video is literally out of focus i'm so sorry <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> I look so sad. And then I'm going to go downwards, but just a tiny bit. Ta-da! Then I'm going to make that exact line on top of there. Because you know, this is a little bit too thin for my liking. And then I'm just going to connect it with the line over here. Whoa, shibby. Oh, shit. 
I'm just filling it in. And you want to start off small because you can always just make it bigger at the end. So, so I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker on the bottom. So now I'm literally just taking my finger and I'm going to smudge the inner part of my brow. And you want to smudge it like that way and not that way because then you're just going to make it longer. So I'm going to smudge it to kind of make it a little bit lighter at the at the beginning you know so you get like a little fade going on and i'm just using my finger i mean you could use a brush but i don't know i got my fingers right here so i'm just gonna use my fingers you then can do but you don't have to but i kind of like to do it is take a flat synthetic brush and i'm going to use my foundation that i also have on my face and i just dip my brush in there deep 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 and then i'm just going to line the bottom part of the brow to make it a little bit straighter so let's see okay so now it's looking like this let me do the other side as well and yeah this is extremely hard to do <laughs> like try and get them even it is very difficult, not gonna lie, I still don't know how to do it. Like it takes me a long time to do the other brow as well. But I'm just going to do that right now because I have one brow right now and it looks weird. Brow gang! Brow gang! So now on to the most important part of drawing on your own eyebrows and that is to create some texture in there because everybody can see that these are fake okay it's very obvious they're just like flat stickers on my head basically brows are made up of hair so we need to draw on some hairs and i got the product to do that so i got two of them i got two different ones first is the lime crime bushy brow which is as you can see it's a very tiny look this is a magic product boop, 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 boop. it's a very small brush and you can just create some hairs with this wait let me see you see you see so i got this one from lime crime and i also got one from urban decay which is basically the exact same product so ping, 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 ping. and i am going to use this to create some brow hairs whoa damn Damn, Daniel. You want to make sure that you use like the lightest possible pressure ever. Because let me show you. This is what it looks like. Oop. If you put like light pressure on there. You can create like tiny hairs. But if I would put a lot of pressure on there. You get like these thick strokes. And that just doesn't, it's just not realistic. Okay. Drawing my brow hairs upwards. I kind of do it like upwards and a little bit sideways as well because at the front of your brow it's always a little bit like crazy and all over the place so that is what I'm going to try to recreate as well. So again, use the lightest possible pressure ever and I'm just gonna start creating hairs. You see, you see? And what I also like to do is I like to draw the hairs higher than I actually made the brow, you know, so they stick up a little bit. Also start the brow hairs at like different points of your brow, not only at like the bottom row, but also a little bit higher. So, you know, you can do it like here. And you can do it like here. Ooh, like this. And then I'm just going to continue doing this for the entire brow and I'm going into the direction that my brow hairs would normally go, you know? So, let's see. What I also like to do is take the Lime Crime one because this is a different shade. This one is a little bit darker and make some hairs with this as well. Ta-da! First set 
of eyebrows is done. Oh my god. And they did turn out to be a little bit different than the picture I showed you all. But that is just because I also have no idea what the fuck I am doing, okay? <laughs> it, it is about like a general idea, okay? So this is my first set of eyebrows. Um, people do not realize that these are fake. I mean, if you would look up very close to me... <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that they're fake, okay? But nobody is this close to your face, okay? So don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> So before I go on to the next set of eyebrows, I just quickly want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network, a VPN, that encrypts all your data and keep it safe, such as your videos, your pictures, and all that kind of stuff, which of course is very important because you don't want other people to get to that stuff, you know? But what you can also do with Surfshark is you can actually change the location on your device, which personally, I think is the best feature ever because there are so many things that I can't watch on Netflix because I don't live in the US and the US has like a way bigger variety of things you can actually watch. So if I just turn on my VPN and set my location to the US, I can finally watch The Office and Parks and Recreations and that makes me very happy. And what I love about Surfshark is that it is totally unlimited. You can use it on any device you have, even at the same time. And no other VPN actually allows this, so that is amazing. And they have strictly no logs, which means that nobody will know or see what you're doing online. And not even Surfshark. So, do with that information what you want to. So go to the link in my description box down below, enter promo code CRYSTALLINDY and get 85% off and three extra months free. So thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And let's now draw on some new eyebrows on my face. So on to the next brow and this one is very popular right now and it is the very like arched brow, um, which honestly it just kind of looks like you have two antennas on your forehead, but it still looks cute. So for this one, I'm not going to use a brow pencil. I'm actually going to use a brush and some eyeshadow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wet my brush. Then I'm going to dip that in the eyeshadow. And then I'm starting from the point where my brows normally also start. And that is around here. And then I just make a line pretty, pretty high up, like a straight line. And yeah, it is gonna look ridiculous at first, but it will be better at the end, I promise. Go sideways. But still keep the angle upwards, you know? Ta-da! I like this brow to be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to make it thinner than the, the last brow. You wanna make the line parallel, parallel to the one below it. And then once you reach the arch point, you're just gonna connect these together. And yeah, it is looking a little bit ridiculous right now. Not gonna lie. Um, that is mainly because I am just not very good at doing this. <laughs> but also, we still have to clean it up. So don't lose faith right now, okay? It will look good at the end. I'm going to do a little trick again. I'm like fading the front out with my finger. We're going to clean the edges up again. Yeah, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna take one shade darker and I'm just gonna darken the ends of my brows with a little bit of powder. You should actually do this before you carve your brows out, but I kind of forgot doing that, so... Okay. I'm going to take my Urban Decay brow blade again, and I'm going to create those little hairs at the front. Ta-da! Um, for this brow, I only do the hairs at the front of my brow because, I don't know, I just like that look. Um, these are kind of unnatural looking brows, so I like to keep them a little bit unnatural looking, if you know what I mean. So these look like this. Wow. Oh, I was already zoomed in. Okay. 
look, I'm not gonna lie, these definitely aren't the best brows I've made so far. Um, but you get the idea, okay? You get like the general idea. The other brow was pretty like cute and like innocent and these are more like bad bitch brows. Um, you can like even, you can make them even higher. Like I've seen people basically having almost like two straight lines on the forehead like this and it still looked good. I just do whatever you wanna do. So yeah, everybody, this is how I draw on my eyebrows. Two different brows for two different moods and two different techniques for two different moods as well. By the way, it doesn't matter which technique you use for what kind of eyebrow. I mean, you can use a pencil whenever you want to, but you can also use the eyeshadow method whenever you want to. I just want to show you two techniques that you can use to draw them on. You can also use a brow pomade. You can just use whatever you want to draw them on. The only thing that I would highly recommend is buy one of these brow blade thingies because you can just create individual hairs, which is kind of make it look instantly better and people will actually believe like those are your own brows. And even if you're someone who has only shaved off the tail of your brows, I would still highly recommend buying something like this. If you're someone who hasn't shaved their brows off and is also not planning, on shaving their brows off. Um, I don't know what you're doing here, but I appreciate your presence. So I hope you still found this an interesting video, even though you will probably never use it in your life. I still like the fact that you stuck around till the end. So I love you. Thank you for being here. So yeah, everybody, I hope you found this an interesting video. Uh, please keep in mind that I'm still learning. Like I haven't walked on the earth without brows for that long yet. I am still <laughs> trying out products, trying out techniques, you know, I'm not the best at drawing on eyebrows, but I like to try. So hopefully you found this video useful and I don't know what else to say. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my TikTok, Instagram and YouTube channel if you do not follow me and you want to be a part of our family because you are welcome and I would love for you to be a part of it. So yeah. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.